What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're gonna be going over PVP in New World. Now this is gonna be more for beginners. So for some of you, this may be new information, but for others, you may know a lot more and hopefully you can leave some comments down below, maybe some tips and tricks for all of us so we can all learn together. If you're new here, my name is JJ and I do live stream daily. So please consider subscribing with bell notifications on if you wanna see more content like this or join us in the live stream. And if you enjoyed today's video or find it useful, make sure to hit that like button. Today's goal is 50 likes. Last thing guys, links to all my gaming gear is down in the description below. They are Amazon affiliate links, so I do get a small kickback, but it costs you absolutely nothing extra. All right guys, well, let's jump right into the video. So when you first jump into the game, you really need to learn the mechanics and everything about the game. So you shouldn't be PVPing right away. At level five, you get your second weapon slot. So at this point, you should be messing around with different weapons, see which ones you like. And that way, you know what you're going to be PVPing with. Then at level 10, you're gonna unlock duels. And this is where you can really start learning how to PVP. Now, it might get frustrating at first because you don't know what you're doing, but you are going to learn with each mistake you make and each duel you have. So around level 10, you're also going to be picking a faction and the faction you pick will determine who you can attack out in the wild if you have PVP enabled. Now you can duel anyone in any faction, that way you can keep practicing as you level up. Now, once you hit level 15 and you have a faction picked, you can go ahead and start getting reputation with your faction and getting some tokens with your faction. That way you can come here and buy some gear. Now, this is some really good PvP gear to get started with, or you can also use in PvE, but you can see it's level 15 here and even the weapons are level 15. Once you put time into a weapon, you'll start to learn what synergizes well as far as skills and abilities. So you will be able to respec for free up to a certain point and I would take advantage of that. That way you could test these different abilities and different passives. An example with the axe would be to say start the fight throwing a gravity well. That way it really sucks the opponent in the center. And if they happen to run out of it, you can use your reap to go ahead and pull them back into the center of the gravity well. And then you can continue to attack them. You can also swap to your other weapon depending on what it is and use those abilities as well and start to synergize these abilities and then you can use your charge if they try to get away again to catch up to them or you can use this to get away and reset now if you practice this on mobs while you're questing it'll transfer over well into pvp so i would take every fight with each mob as if it's a duel as if it's pvp and really practice synergizing these abilities now, when it comes to armor, you're going to have to decide what type of playstyle you're going to go with. If you want light armor, you are going to be dealing 20% bonus damage and healing, but you are going to be squishier. That means you're going to have to really use your roll to dodge out of the way attacks, because if you do get hit, it's going to hurt. So I would say light is more for experienced PvPers that know how to avoid taking damage. Now, with medium armor, you will be a bit of a hybrid. You're going to deal 10% damage and healing, but you are also going to have some crowd control that will last longer. So crowd control is very important in PVP, depending on the weapons you're using. Some will have it, some won't, but PVP will be things like stuns where the enemy is going to be stuck there and you can really get some big attacks off. Having them sit there longer will give you more time to set up that big attack. So for my example, I am using a hammer with the great axe. Now this would benefit my hammer if I went medium, which is something I'm considering going soon. I was just testing out the light armor because I wanted to do more damage and healing out in the world in that 1v1 world PVP setting. So if you're somewhat comfortable with PVP, you can go medium. That way you are taking less damage because there is more armor in the medium. Now with heavy armor, this could be really for beginners because you're going to have a lot of armor, therefore taking a lot of damage. You won't die as fast. You can learn more when you're PVPing since you're going to be living longer. You won't get one shot like you would with light armor. Now you're not as mobile, so you're going to feel like you're stuck in the ground more, um, but you are going to live longer. You're going to be able to block to reduce damage and you're going to have even longer crowd control. So when you stun someone or do anything like that, they are going to be stuck there for a longer time. Then you can get a heal off, you can eat some food, maybe get a potion off and heal up. That way you can continue to fight. So movement, positioning, and CC are all really important in PVP. 
you're gonna find yourself missing a lot of shots against someone that's really good at pvp because they're going to be dodging blocking rolling away from your attacks and then you may get caught in an animation as you're doing an attack and then they're going to counter you and hit you maybe use one of their abilities so you don't always want to rush an attack you may want to wait it out and let them try to attack first that way you can dodge out of the way they miss and then you counter now there are going to be some range people as well that are going to try and kite you and get away so you are going to need some gap closers like charge that lets you charge 10 meters to catch up to them or your pull abilities or the gravity well that sucks them in because people are going to try to run away or even come towards you so you may need to get away so your movement and cc are very important for both offense and defense so your movement is important for offense if you're chasing someone down but it's also crucial to get away if you need to recover eat some food or heal up with a potion and then cc is great for defense also because you can stun or do whatever to allow you to heal and also offensively set up a big attack like if you're running execute right here which has a long animation you may want to run this with a hammer where you can stun them and then go ahead and land a huge execute so when it comes to attributes it's important to pick the correct one for the weapons you're using and of course here it tells you what kind of perks you get once you reach certain thresholds but one thing that's also really important is constitution you don't want to leave this too low and only stack strength or dexterity or intelligence while you may want to put everything into your attack to do more damage you will be super super squishy so you may find yourself dying too quickly so these scale with your equipment your buffs or even just your committed points that you get as you level right now my logic is doing a two to one so i try to keep this double of my constitution that way i'm not leaving it too far behind but some of these perks are good like having 20 percent stronger uh, consumables you'll get healed more and this is great for pvp also increasing your health here by 10 percent of your physical armor so do not sleep on constitution guys don't just focus on strength for pvp don't think if you hit harder you're going to win more fights because if someone is really good and they know how to evade your attacks and then hit you you're going to be back at the settlement all right so here i wanted to go over a duel i had at a lower level just to kind of go through what i was thinking so here i go ahead and i throw the gravity well but you see i threw it behind my target i i actually threw it at him and i should have led in front of him so he would have ran into it because even if he was to stop and turn around the other direction there's that animation of stopping and then turning around so he still would have got caught in it so that was my first mistake there then i rolled at him because he rolled away and he swung at me and happened to miss because i was rolling and now i have his back so when you hit someone in the back it's an automatic crit and that orange color that's what it means he hit me went to run away again you see the way he rolled i hit him for another crit because he rolled away with his back towards me and now I go to roll, but I roll backwards with my body still facing him. That way it's not a crit. So that's one tip right there. Then I pulled him for that heal because my ability has a heal when I pull him. And then that's the end of the duel there. All right. So I'll go ahead and show you one more duel here and walk you through what was going on. So I throw my gravity well, he gets stuck in it. I go in there to go for the stun. Now, even though he's blocking, it looks like he still got stunned through the block. So I go ahead, charge up my heavy attack, hit him with it, knock him back. I did do a knockback there and another attack, but now I dodge out of the way, assuming he was going to attack, which he did. And I was just out of range and I hit him with my attack there. I went to pull, I miss. I just chop him down a little bit. He's hitting me pretty good too though. I go to use that to run away and reset and wait for my cooldowns to come back. And he goes to, it looks like, oh, I go to stun him right here. And I go to do my heavy attack, but it looks like he blocked it. So I am wearing light armor, medium armor. I may think about going because it has a little longer duration on the CC. So maybe the CC was just a split too short and he got out of it and was able to block i'm not sure what happened there so then i hit him with that range attack now he's low i'm going in for the kill i use a 
stupid attack there. Um, I chase him down, hit him for a crit. I go to pull him. He doesn't get pulled. But then I throw my gravity well. He gets slowed. And then I go ahead and finish him off. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Also, share it with someone that might find it beneficial. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you learned anything or if you have any advice I may have missed that may help us all out as a community. That way we can get better at PvP. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.